Today's video, we're going to be doing our first impressions of Luther Black and shaving with the curve, Christopher Bradley in brass. If you like the sounds of that, stay tuned and let's get shaving. <laughs> Greetings, friends. Welcome to the demo meet JMAC, the Red Island Shaver. So glad to have you all aboard for the weekend video and hopefully everybody's weekend is off to a fantastic start. So yes, today... Luther Black, uh, a gift from Marion the Barbarian. So Marion, thank you uh, so much. I know he uh, he was going to send me uh, DK's Arctic Freeze, and he mentioned a couple other things. He did not mention he was going to send probably one of the hottest uh, scents and shavings. So thank you so much. So we'll get right into it. I'm going to uh, apply the cube. I'm going to try it a little differently today. I'm going to take a suggestion from uh, my brother B. Lou because he noticed that I... Uh, I apply the cube quite heavily, <laughs> so I'm still figuring some of this stuff out. So I got one hand wet. Maybe I'm just going to try... He just puts it right in the hand and just works up a bit of a lather that way, I think. So, And then he, he wipes it into the beard. So let's see how that works, shall we? Let's see if I get... Uh, the same, the same use case out of the cube. Yeah, it seems like there's a good little amount of soap on the face. Probably not quite as much as I was using. Eh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. If not, then I'll just I'll go back to my other method. I kind of I kind of had it down to like a swipe across. Yeah, and actually, yeah, I might need a little bit more. That seems like there's not quite as much on the face as I usually put. I don't know. I like to get a good good hefty amount of this stuff on there. I guess it's not going to hurt uh, it's not going to hurt any rubbing it in. That is for sure. That's the whole point, right? C.S. Lothar Black. Uh, a pretty, pretty cracking scent. Uh, this was done for the Razor Company by Luther, And I've had my eye on Luther for quite a while. Uh, I, like, I like the cut of his jib. I like the message behind his soap. The mental health aspects and stuff like that. There's there, everything... I like about it and um, it looks like an amazing product it's just just like everything else in life uh, you know some things got to get put to the back burner and usually soap purchases are what's put to the back burner so yes Luther Black oh that's a great scent this is a uh, cologne scent based on Tom Ford's Noir de Noir and uh, this kind of has everything going on in it and we're going to use my Masetto 30 millimeter, going for a, a big old lather today. This is a tallow soap. So we're just gonna get in and load this heavy because I've never used this before. So yeah, this this has got a lot going on. Um, it's basically got all the scent food groups. I will post a, uh, a list of the scent notes here on the screen. But basically, it's got all the food groups. It's got the florals, the spices, uh, citruses, amber, leather, musk, vetiver. It's just, it's got it all going on. And then, uh, like I said, the spices, there's some pepper in there. And uh, yeah, it just smells, just smells amazing. I don't, I don't know what I'm getting is the predominant note. Are the predominant notes yet just based off the tub but I do know that I like it so so there's that it's kind of like uh, this one which one's pink from a and e in, in a way that's like a very kind of spicy peppery uh, cologne scent and I dig it I I, I really dig the peppery cologne scents I, I really do it's just I don't know, there's just something about it. I just like that peppery scent. So I'm, I'm definitely picking up on some of the pepper in this. 
and that is what is sealing the deal for me right off the bat. And I, I am picking up citrus, getting some of that brightness. Definitely picking up some of the florals. Now that we got it warmed up in the knot, see what we can find. Yeah, so there's pepper. Getting some herbaceousness off the vetiver, the green. A little bit sweet from the vanilla. Definitely some, some bright citrus. Picking up some florals. Yeah, I really like it. That's really well blended. Really well blended indeed. All right, so I'm going to cut this while I do this face lather because I probably loaded a lot of soap in this knot. It's going to take a while to, uh, to build this up to my specifications. So I will cut this, and when we come back, we will be all lathered up and ready to go. If you're interested in how I do face lathers, there is a link in the description down below to how I do uh, face and bowl lathers. We'll see you guys when we're ready to get shaved. We are back, and as you can see, we're lathered up. A very nice lather on the face. Very nice feel to it. And, uh, I mean, it just made a stupid lather. It actually didn't take that long. This stuff just took water, and it grenaded. Like, that's a 30-millimeter brush. That is completely chock full of lather. Craziness. Uh, nice sense strength on this. Strong side medium, I would give it. Uh, very nice face feel on the lather. Uh, kind of a different feeling lather. These, some of the ingredients in here must uh, be contributing to that. It's a different lather, but I, I really like it. All right, so the Curve, Christopher Bradley in brass. And as you can see, it's all nice and shiny looking. I, uh, <laughs> once again, I got this idea from Bilu. I, uh, I took this for a ketchup bath. And I know you're going to say, what? Ketchup? Yeah, ketchup. Uh, get a Wisimet in here with the B plate, uh, third shave on this Wisimet blade. But yeah, I dumped this whole thing in ketchup and let it sit for 30 minutes. I took the blade out, of course, and uh, just let it sit. And the uh, the ketchup just ate through all the patina, leaving this lovely brass and. Uh, it works really, really well. And I know some people are gonna say, yeah, but you can use Brasso and stuff. And yes, you absolutely can. And not taking anything away from using Brasso or, or you know, the, the good old tried and true toothpaste and a toothbrush. But, like I said, I didn't have to scrub this. I didn't have to do anything. I literally put it in ketchup and made sure the whole thing was submerged. Like, uh, so I took it apart, made sure all the pieces had ketchup on every every millimeter of them and that's it. I did do a little bit of cleaning afterwards with a toothbrush and some toothpaste just to get some water spots off underneath the top cap. But to be honest, I didn't even have to do that. So ketchup or white vinegar, anything acidic, if you have uh, some patina, especially I had some stubborn patina there as well. Uh, I had some like staining on the handle that was right down into the knurling. Uh, the razor got wet and I didn't notice it, and uh, it was it was bad. I couldn't couldn't get it cleaned out, and that took everything. As we go back to the lather for the second pass, nice and stable. First pass was great. This is a high 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 quality soap. There's no question about that. This is uh, this is some top tier soap. Uh, very very interesting lather. It is super slick. It's just, it's got a ton of water in it. And like, even like getting it off my fingers here on the towel, it's, it's just got some slickness in it. This is some, this is some next level soap. I, I gotta say this, uh, this is really good. I'm really enjoying this. Definitely. helping the razor do its job of cutting through these whiskers. That is for sure. And we got the B plate, like I said, 0.73 millimeter blade gap. Neutral blade exposure. It's a nice and a nice mild shaver. Do like my B plate.
And I like my C plate too. B and C are my uh, go-to plates with the curve. Of course, I am getting the uh, the Overlander as well, which would be interesting. Oh, from what I've read, what I've heard, that's basically a B plate with a little bit of positive blade exposure when it usually doesn't have positive blade exposure, but then the head geometry kind of uh, comes into effect too, which makes it, I think, a little bit more more efficient than what the blade exposure would lead you to believe, but yet still being as smooth as a B plate for face feel. So can't wait to try that one. As we go in for the third pass here, and yeah, this lather is just super stable in that brush. Like look down at the flow through here, and there's a ton of lather down there. And we'll paint it on good for this last pass. A very creamy lather, easy to build. Uh, it, it took no time at all to build this face leather. I probably could have spent another 20 minutes throwing more water into this, but to be honest with you, it, it, it got the, the slickness content that I wanted out of it and uh, did that pretty quickly. So I'm very happy. Uh, scent, yeah, I'm loving the scent. Uh, I, my wife was not 100% crazy on it off the tub. Be interesting to see what she thinks uh on the um on the splash on the dry down i could see this being a date night scent as people say but only if your significant other enjoys the scent or else you'll be having a, a date night by yourself and that's never any fun that's not much of a date night so She's out and about right now, so it's actually a good way to uh, to judge it, because it'll be dried down by the time she gets back, and see what she thinks. If she uh, says, oh yeah, you smell really good, then we know it's a winner. If she says, yeah, what are you wearing, then, well, not so much, but anyway. I know I'm definitely enjoying every aspect of this shave. Well, hopefully everybody's having a, a good weekend so far. It's pretty quiet here. Always is on the weekends though. My wife works every weekend, so it's usually just me and the boys. Just kicking it and doing her things which usually involves me watching a lot of shaving content and uh, enjoying some great shaves myself and the boys they got their own things like gaming and stuff like that so it's all good speaking of all good that's the shave right there all right Let's get into a, uh, well actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this and I'm going to do my rinse and then uh, I'll come back for the splash. Get back in our back, get the cold water rinse all taken care of. Yeah, it was a great shave, guys. Absolutely great shave. Skin is super hydrated. Uh, between that uh, initial application of the cube and all the good stuff that's in the Luther Grooming Soap. Face is feeling nicely hydrated. That's just the way we like it after a great shave. And my post-shave routine includes a cold water rinse and then uh, and then a splash. In this case, it is the matching splash. I did not check beforehand to see if this was taped, but it's not. Oh yeah, let's get into this. So I've heard this is a uh, fairly viscous, lots of skin food. Uh, aftershave does have alcohol, but not super intense on the alcohol. Absolutely no tingle there. It's definitely a viscous splash. I like the feeling of a viscous splash. It's one of the reasons I do like uh, witch hazel aftershaves with lots of skin foods in them because they just have that that weight on them, that that feeling that just it just feels like it's going to a uh, Leave your face feeling hydrated all day long, and by golly, it usually does. Yeah, very nice. Not overpowering on the scent strength on the splash. 
It's going to have some nice projection though. Longevity we will see as it dries down. Definitely getting more of that pink pepper, a little bit of rose, some spice, some citrus. Very nice. That is a very, very nice smelling splash. I'm enjoying the way I'm smelling at the moment. So that'll do it for me, my friends. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. We're helping the community grow, helping the channel grow, and we all grow together, and I do appreciate that. So until next time, be safe, be kind to one another, have a great day, eat better shave. We will catch you in the next one. Peace.